Hey guys, uh, for this video today, it is Wednesday, December 11th, 2019. So for this video today, I want to share my thoughts and discuss the possibility of the NFL eventually adding more teams to the playoffs and therefore expanding their postseason in the National Football League. Now, truth is, here's how I got to the point where I decided to film this video that you're watching now. So anyways, this past Sunday, I can't remember exactly which game I was watching, but anyways, you know how on the bottom of the screen, you get your out-of-town scores where they show you the scores of other games across the NFL? Well, during at some point during the display of those out-of-town scores for, for the specific game I was watching, which I can't remember exactly which game it was, but anyway, something came up on the bottom of the screen where it said report. NFL owners are not currently considering playoff expansion or adding more teams to the playoffs every year. So when I saw that, I've got to be honest, I was absolutely shocked. Now, I think some people out there will probably say, hey, you should not be shocked. But I will explain why I was really taken back when I saw that, because truth is, I wasn't expecting it. Now, here's why I was shocked. Truth is, I have heard either I'm way out of the loop on this, or it's something that has only come up recently. But anyways, until this past Sunday, I had no idea that the NFL, that there was any public discussion about postseason expansion in, in the NFL at all. I honestly have not heard any discussion anywhere about the NFL possibly expanding the amount of teams that make the playoffs in both conferences every year. I haven't heard any news about this. So when I saw that on Sunday, I was really taken back. And in fact... I was so surprised by it, I thought that I'd sit down at some point um, after that, which is now Wednesday, since Sunday, it's been a few days. I thought I'd sit down and film this video tonight, because you know what? This is a very interesting topic, and I think it's worthy of a video, at least in my opinion. Uh, but anyways, when I think of, N or sorry, not NFL, but playoff expansion in North American leagues in general, my number one for me in terms of leagues needing to expand their postseason is Major League Baseball. It was only until earlier on in this decade, about five or six years ago as I'm filming this today, when Major League Baseball decided after, I believe, decades of only allowing the division winners and one wild card team in each league to qualify for the playoffs. So after decades of only having that format, at least, and if it's if that's incorrect, please correct me because I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's how it's been for decades. But only until about five or six years ago, there was only eight teams in all of Major League Baseball in both leagues that qualified for the playoffs every year. Now, earlier on in this decade, in around 2013, maybe 2014, and maybe it was even 2012, I can't remember, but Major League Baseball finally decided to allow a couple more teams to have a chance at a playoff spot. So instead of instead of adding more series, what they did was they allowed the second highest seeded wild card team to play the first wild card team in a special sudden death game, a wild card game where the winner of that game would go to the playoffs and participate in the divisional series. And the loser would be done after playing 163 games um, and have their season end after 163 games rather than going to the divisional series and possibly beyond. So even though I am happy that Major League Baseball has at least decided to allow a couple more teams to have a bit of a shot at a playoff berth or have an actual shot at a playoff berth, I and I think a lot of people out there would agree that that's still... They could do better. I think they should actually expand to allow eight teams per league to make the playoffs. So now going back to the NFL, I've got a one word reason why they should do this and expand the playoffs. Money. Adding even one more team in each 
conference in the NFL to play in the playoffs would guarantee two more full stadiums and two more games with high TV numbers. It, I think, in my opinion at least, it would be a win-win for the NFL. And certainly would be an even bigger financial gain for Major League Baseball. And in fact, speaking of postseason expansion, even Major League Soccer has been adding teams to their playoff brackets every year. They've been allowing more teams to qualify for the playoffs. Which personally, as long as they have a maximum of eight teams per conference making the playoffs, I think that's fair. Now, even in Major League Soccer, they decided to get rid of the aggregate system for the postseason this year and replace it with sudden death one game knockouts and personally I think they're that's a way better way of deciding uh, who moves on I think that in soccer having the sudden death games is great now imagine two more sudden death games in the NFL playoffs every year I mean I think that would be a really good thing and in Major League Baseball I don't understand why they're only allowing four teams and the addition of one wild card game at this point. They should seriously ex way expand and allow 16 teams in all of Major League Baseball to participate in the playoffs every year. Not only would you have way more ticket sales, way more, you'd have way better TV numbers, you'd have more cities involved in the playoffs, and at the end of every season, you would have way more cities actually producing way better regular season ticket sales at the end of every season because you would have way more fan bases knowing that their teams actually have a legitimate shot to make the playoffs. Because right now, in Major League Baseball, I mean, you only have your the two wild card teams. There's no guarantee that they're going to get past the wild card game. But the two wild card seeded teams, the top two in each league, they have to play a wild card single knockout game just to go to the divisional series. And in Major League Baseball, with there only being five teams in each league that qualify for any hope in the playoffs, where the wild card teams only have to have to initially play and win a wild card game just to get there, if they had more teams and more spots for the playoffs in Major League Baseball, you'd have way more fan bases. And more teams that would actually have a chance to move on. And I think that would be great to see. And I think it would be a major, major financial win for Major League Baseball if they actually decided to do this. I think the fact that they haven't has been a huge mistake. Now, I know I made a video about why I think it's time for Major League Baseball to expand their postseason a couple of months ago as I'm filming this. But you know what, guys? I mean, Major League Baseball is the biggest head scratcher for me because I don't understand why they haven't done it already. I, I think that only four teams and one wild card game to allow an extra team to play for a chance to go to the playoffs is just not enough. And I think that there's way too much money that they could be making, you know, and can also, or too much money to be made for them not to do it. But not only that, in both Major League Baseball and the NFL's case as well, I don't know if these rumors are true or not, or if they're actual facts, but I've been hearing that the NFL and Major League Baseball have both been suffering lower TV numbers in recent years, and both leagues have had, or at least Major League Baseball, I don't know about the NFL, but I know that in Major League Baseball, they've been having less attendance at games across the board. So, what better way to garner more fan interest than to add way more teams to the playoffs to allow eight teams in each league so that at the even at the end of the season, there will be more teams that will actually have a chance at the playoffs. And not only would you have more guaranteed sellouts in your stadiums in the playoffs and have more stadiums with more fans in them, you'd have more bums in seats at the end of the regular season of Major League Baseball too. Because, because you would have more fan bases that either A, knew they had have it or know that they have a chance in the playoffs b know that they are going to the playoffs or c know that their team actually has a still has a shot to make the playoffs so you know for me that's been a big head scratcher now in terms of the NFL for TV numbers you would have more fan bases 
that would actually believe that they have a shot. On top of that, at the end of the regular season, you would have better attendance numbers from across the board. You'd have more teams that would actually be able to fight for a, a playoff spot. I mean, if they're losing TV numbers and potentially attendance numbers in recent years, I think that would be a really good idea. Uh, I know I recently, I just did a video recently on this where, well, not this specifically, but what I'm about to talk about now is the fact that I discussed, I believe it was yesterday or the other day that I, that I uploaded it, but I made a video where I said, should division winners necessarily always make the playoffs? Because if you look at the NFC East right now, the Dallas Cowboys, as of this video, are below 500 and they are leading their division and would make the playoffs if the playoffs started tomorrow. So there is very much a possibility that we're going to see a below 500 team make the playoffs and win a division this year. Where in the NFC right now, as I said in my most recent video, I believe it was the last one I uploaded, to be honest, um, I talked about the fact that the Los Angeles Rams are above 500, and thanks to uh, my viewer Caesar, or I hope that's how you pronounce your name. If I've mispronounced it, please correct me. Um, I hope I pronounced it right. But thank you for uh, telling me that the Rams are an 8-5 and five team right now. Well, if the playoffs started tomorrow, they would not be making the playoffs, and they would be well above 500. I don't know about you viewers out there, but I agree with those who say that that's pretty unfair. But at the same time, as I mentioned in that video too, I mean, if if a division winner doesn't make the playoffs, then, you know, is that necessarily fair either? I don't know, but I like the idea of a division winner being guaranteed a playoff spot. So in my case and scenario here about NFL playoff expansion, in the NFC, you would have the Rams actually holding a playoff spot. Now, there is still a chance the Rams could very well make the playoffs, especially since they just defeated the Seahawks on Sunday, who are holding the top wildcard seed as of this video. Now, they could also get past the Minnesota Vikings too. But the Rams are in a situation, and the Bears too, are both teams in a situation, or that are in a situation, where they're both in really good divisions this year. In the NFC West, the 49ers have been absolutely exceptional this year. Seattle has actually been putting up a decent season as well. And the Rams are clearly proving that they are playoff worthy still, with an 8-5 and five record. Now, if you look at the NFC North, Green Bay is holding on to the top seed in the NFC North by the skin of their teeth right now. I believe they're 10 and 5, and the Vikings are, I believe, 9 and 4, maybe 8 and 4. But I know that Green Bay isn't holding on to their division right now by a whole lot. And I believe Minnesota's won nine games. So you've got those two teams. The Packers are holding on to the NFC North right now or holding on to the, their lead in the division. The Vikings are right are tailgating them. They're right on their bumper, right in their rearview mirror. And then behind them, I believe the Bears are either 7-5 and five or 7-6. and six. So the Bears are the third team in that division that are an above 500 team. So, you know, with the current playoff format, you've got the division winners guaranteed a spot, and then you've got the two highest wild card seeded teams. See, it's this is a scenario. A scenario like this is really good reason, in my opinion, also to add that extra spot. This would make it a little bit more fair if you've got a division that's having a bad year, like the NFC East is right now. In fact, there's still a chance the uh, Eagles could actually still win the division, and. You know what, it's, it's, it's been an interesting situation seeing how bad the NFC East as a whole has been. There's been no clear team that's been dominant, at least not this at this point. I mean, by the end of the NFL season in the next few weeks, 
I mean, you could have either Philadelphia or the Cowboys winning their division with an above 500 record. It's very possible. But it's also very possible that they could win the division below 500, which I believe the only other time that happened was also in this decade around, I think, I can't even remember when, but I believe Seattle became the first NFL team to ever win a division with a below 500 record. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been done before. But having that extra playoff spot would have would be fantastic for the NFC, especially this year. This way, instead of having two teams that are above 500 screwed over, you'd only have one. Now, I hate to be that guy, especially if you're a Bears fan, but I'd rather see only one team get screwed over than two teams get screwed over. And right now, I mean, with the current setup, the Rams are going to get royally screwed over if would be royally screwed over, I mean, if the playoffs started today. They would be screwed. A good team well above 500 not making the playoffs, while a mediocre team, well, a currently mediocre team, the Cowboys, are below 500. Now, I mean, I hate to be that guy, but it's true. I mean, if you're below 500 at this point in the year, usually it's because you're st- you're kind of a mediocre team at this point in the year. Even though there's still time for the Cowboys and the Eagles to turn their seasons around. And I still believe that I'm a, or sorry, I'm a believer that if you make the playoffs, they're one game they're one game sudden death matches. If you go to the playoffs, anything's possible. One example I like to use is the 2011-2012 season Los Angeles Kings. In the National Hockey League, they made the playoffs in 8th place in the Western Conference. They beat the Vancouver Canucks in the first round of the playoffs, and they went on to win their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history. So if a team can just make the playoffs, anything's possible. But still, my point is, is you know, you've got, you've got a good team the Los Angeles Rams, in the Rams. And if the playoffs started tomorrow, they'd be well above 500 and they still wouldn't, they would be ending their season. There would be no postseason for them. Now look at the AFC. In the AFC, you would have multiple teams that would actually have more of a fighting chance. You would have even Cleveland. You would have Tennessee. I believe Tennessee would be holding on to that wild card spot if that extra spot actually happens. So there's a team that is actually doing not too bad that would actually be in a playoff spot. Where right now, I believe the two wildcard teams in the AFC are the Steelers and who else? Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm drawing a blank here. Um, it, I know it's not Cleveland, uh, but I know it's Pittsburgh and... Shoot, I can't. I can't think of the other one at this point in time, but... Oh, yes, Buffalo, Pittsburgh and Buffalo. So if that so if the playoffs started tomorrow, the Titans would be an above 500 team screwed out of a playoff spot. So I'm I'm all in favor for it because and also, as I've been saying, adding that extra playoff spot would give more teams a chance to make the playoffs and would give more fan bases hope that their teams could actually or a fighting chance or the belief that their team has a fighting chance to make the playoffs. There we go. Now I figured out how to word that, sorry. Uh, but you know what? It's. I think that the idea of more fan bases feeling like their team actually has a hope in hell in making the playoffs would help add address the attendance problem if the NFL's 32 teams have been having, or at least some of them have been having attendance problem, problems, at least especially at this point in the year where you start to know the pretenders from the contenders. So if more team fan bases know that their teams actually actually have a playoff uh, or a chance to make the playoffs, more likely you're going to have more bums in, in the seats at the stadiums and you're going to have better TV numbers. You'll have more people knowing that, hey, my team actually still has a chance to make the playoffs. I am so watching this game where... Say in a fan base like Cleveland, 
odds are very low now that they're going to make the playoffs. They're most likely done. They're still, they still have a chance. I believe they're five and seven, maybe six and seven, if I'm not mistaken. But the Cleveland Browns, are they making the playoffs this year? I'm going on a limb and saying no. But with the third wild card spot, if it was available, that fan base would, that stadium would be probably selling more tickets if they aren't selling it out already. And their TV numbers would be better, just as an example. But my point is, is that, you know what, I think adding that extra spot in both conferences in the NFL, in my opinion, would be a good thing. And what I've, I've read an article on Sunday night after reading that that said that the idea being floated around was adding an extra wild card spot in each conference. Going from 12 to 14 teams, in my opinion, would be a great move for the NFL. It would really help address those TV rating number drops that I've been hearing about. And you would have better ticket sales in more cities by the end of the season because you would have more teams that would actually have a chance, a fighting chance at a playoff spot. And in the Rams case, that, in my opinion, them and the Titans as well, those are two teams that, in my opinion, with their current records, certainly deserve an opportunity at the playoffs. So giving them a chance to play in a wild card game in the divisional or sorry, the wild card weekend and get into the playoffs, in my opinion, is something that I think both of those teams certainly deserve a shot at. And especially with the situation where the NFC East champions could very well be below 500 this year, you know, it's going to be really frustrating to see a good team like the Rams get screwed out of a playoff spot. Now, even though I'm not a Rams fan myself, um, the thing is, is do I want to see a deserving team get screwed over? No, I don't. I certainly don't. But you know what? It's with the current situation this year, it makes it even more uh, um, of a good thing, in my opinion, for the NFL to just do it. Expand to having seven teams in each conference make the playoffs. So have 14 teams make it every year instead of 12. Now, there was one more thing I think I wanted to add as well. Um, oh, yeah. So with the from what I read, the idea would be that the champion or the conference champion, the first, the team with the highest, with the best record in each conference would be the only team to receive a bye in each conference, where the bottom six w would be seated based on where they finished in the standings, of course. And then the three winners would move on, and the first place team that got the bye in the first weekend would play the lowest seated team remaining. And then those winners would move on to the conference championship and then, of course, the Super Bowl. Now, the thing with bye weeks is that sometimes they can be a double-edged sword. Now, in, in one sense, the bad side of the sword could be that your team could get very, very rusty. So say a team wins a um, bye week, they could come back and play a team that's very well gelled, they have momentum, and they have developed good chemistry, where your team's just trying to get going again. It could, it could be a problem for your team. But on the other hand, that bye week can really help you, especially if you've got your best players nursing injuries. So as I say, it can be a double-edged sword. Now having two teams with a bye week in each conference, that is that in my opinion has been probably a good thing because then you've got four teams in the entire league that get that bye week which means that odds are you're going to have at least one of them moving on which usually most teams that get a bye week tend to anyway but you know what from a from my perspective I have watched a lot of occasions in the Canadian Football League where a team gets a bye week and then they play in their division final and they just are so rusty and they just get screwed so on one hand do you necessarily want to have only one team in each conference get a bye but if you've got an odd number of teams making the playoffs you'd have to do that in order to keep it even now what i'm hinting at is that well what if they expanded to having eight teams in each uh conference make the playoffs in the nfl and get rid of the bye week entirely 
I mean, I like the idea of including an extra team on top because then in the NFC's case, the Bears would also be another above 500 team in a playoff spot. But I can appreciate people wanting to have a bye week for at least one team in each conference too. So I'm not sure how people feel about that. I'm, I'm kind of more talking about something where we should really cross that bridge when we get there. But see, the thought of it for me is interesting. That's all. But in terms of NFL expansion, do I think they should at least add one more team to each conference in the playoffs and add a wild card spot for each conference? My answer is hell yeah. The sooner the better. I think I think it would be a really good thing for the NFL. It would really help put more bumps and seats in stadiums across the NFL. Better TV ratings across the board at the end of the season. And you know what? I think that would be a really good thing for the NFL. And I'd love to hear what other people think about this. But anyways, after 26 minutes of talking, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I want to quickly note that I believe this is the first time I've ever done an NFL jersey backdrop in any of my videos. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'd love to hear what people think about the idea of the NFL adding one more team per conference to the playoffs, possibly. I think it's a great idea. I think they should do it. But anyways, I'd love to hear what people think on this. Uh, with that, that's a wrap for me. Until my next video, take care. And of course, as always, you guys, bye for now.